In the previous episode, we improved the lighting and perspective on the basis of the general workflow. In this episode, let's talk about the details of physical model rendering, which is decisively important. A sad fact is that SketchUp as a platform is not good at handling details, such as fine models, mapping UVW, or structural topology. After accepting that fact, we will know what to improve. Let's see how to perfect your rendering as good as you can on SketchUp. When you closely observe a physical model, the mapping is particularly important. A high-quality map makes the render more realistic. Try to use maps with a resolution higher than 2K. In addition to their high resolution, more importantly, these maps provide not only diffuse textures, but also textures from other important render elements, such as roughness, normal, and height. With these maps, we can create materials with more details, such as this pebble ground. We applied six maps to the corresponding position. However, these maps might make you excessively pursue the actual features of materials, but ignore the fact that rendering is for appearance. This will lead you to make too much effort and blindly pursue reflection glows, bumpiness, and displacement when it's unnecessary, which will make your drawings look disastrous. So it's important to observe things in reality. For example, in this physical model, we didn't even add any reflection to the wood part, only used a diffuse textures map. Of course, wood has reflection, but a little bit of reflection can be ignored in the actual appearance under this kind of studio lighting. As for the glass, we used a dirt texture and pasted it in opacity. As for materials, the last thing you need to pay attention to is to avoid repetition. In SketchUp, you can adjust the UVW of maps on each face to disturb the regularity. In V-Ray, you can also wrap in color correction in the diffuse textures to give the maps different colors in different positions. There is a basic logic in all physical model building process. How do you put parts together? How do you support the structure? Use mortise and tenon or fixed parts is an important way to improve the credibility of the render of your model, and it's simple. For example, in a mediocre model, we added supporting parts and necessary metal parts, and the render looks like an upgrade immediately. Physical models are usually imperfect, materials will deform, and we are not as accurate as machines. Keeping these imperfections will make your rendering perfect. There are many ways to deform and twist the model. You can use SketchUp plugins, 
or simply use the sandbox tool, just like us. The materials are often stained or worn at the corners. In the process of building the physical model, some traces will be left because of cutting, pasting, or other processing. In V-Ray, we usually use a dirt map to simulate those traces. In essence, a dirt map works in the same way as ambient occlusion, or AO. Let's start with a simple model to see how it works. Create a new material in SketchUp and cover the model with it. Then, set the diffuse textures of the material to dirt in the ray. Unclouded color indicates the part that does not show dirt, and occluded color indicates the part that shows dirt. We can use two contrasting colors to see the results clearly. Please note the meaning of invert normals. Radius is used to control the size of the dirt area. We can use only one value or superimpose a map on the original map to make the dirt look more random and complex. Increasing the value of distribution will weaken the smooth transition from clean to dirt. And fall off indicates making the dirt look less obvious. In this example, we use the wood map as the clean area and brighten the same map as the dirt area to simulate the brazen of the corner of the wood. Although we can use maps such as displacement to add more details to the surface of the model, the most fascinating renders always use real models for every detail. This is the work Jade Keeling by Xu Zilong on ZBrush. See, every scale is a model. Since SketchUp is relatively weak in modeling, what can we do to make the model more detailed? We highly recommend a SketchUp plugin called Scatter. It can help you randomly distribute the components in SketchUp. In this example, we use Scatter to distribute three types of sawdust components into three different places, the top and two places on the floor. In the windowsill model in the previous episode, we also use Scatter to spread sawdust around the model. If you are interested, we will make a special tutorial on Scatter later. Now, the tutorial on rendering physical models with SketchUp and V-Ray is basically over. Actually, for people with some experience in SketchUp and V-Ray, the cause of unsatisfying results is not that they don't know how to use these apps, but that they focus too much on unimportant things and neglect important things. For example, putting tons of effort on materials but forgetting the model itself. 
Although it's not absolutely reasonable, if we rank the importance of different steps in a whole workflow, at least in architectural visualization, it's probably like this: first, aesthetics; second, modeling; third, lights; fourth, materials. Aesthetics are the most important part of a picture. Then it's modeling. Usually, modeling in SketchUp is not difficult. It just needs to be detailed enough. In terms of the final result, modeling is worth your patience. Then it's lighting. Lighting determines the atmosphere of the whole render. Finally, it's the material. Most people care most about materials. But it's the least important thing in architectural visualization, because its materials library is becoming more and more inclusive with every upgrade of the renderer. Also, the setting of most materials is actually very standardized. I hope this tutorial can inspire you. If you have any ideas, please leave a message in the comment section. Your support will encourage us to make more interesting tutorials. This is SketchUp Rabbit Hole. Subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. You will get more interesting tutorials and examples of things that you've never seen before. We are special. See you next time.